Well, we stopped by a troll. Woo! In this series, we are two lost Swedes in Norway who try free camping for the first time in our lives and have to deal with the amazing things and the flat out annoying struggles that come with it. Ugh. This is fine. <laughs> we started the journey with... Like, who knows where we are? No, it's somewhere between somewhere and nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> and then this. Where are we? Oh. <laughs> and then this. Someone crashed a drone in a freaking rooftop. Our mishaps will continue in this video too, don't worry. It's so hard to find a spot to camp on here. That along with a lot. <laughs> Step one, super relax before the adventure starts. And look what a great free camping spot we found. Okay, so it's a campground. Look, after all the discomfort, we wanted to settle down in uh, the comfort of a campground with a hundred other people over the age of 50. We're like really lowering the, the, the Our age standards. Here. Like everyone else is definitely 50 plus, I'd say. But see, it's just about what direction you're looking. Yeah, let's look this way <laughs> and not that way. We needed to spend two major chill days with toilets and hot water showers and food that's prepared for you. I just want to document Yeah, it's sunny. I still haven't seen a single Norwegian wear Crocs. This seems to be a trashy sweet thing. Oh my god, I spotted Crocs. Apparently they belong to Italians, so. Just being sunscreen. Someone does things for me, with me, by choice. Actually, it is by choice. <laughs> Another thing we're about to do by choice is jump into an Atlantic fjord. And we found out it was around 12 degrees Celsius, so pretty cold. I love the idea of cold plunges and the health benefits of it. I am a big fan of the Iceman Wim Hof, and I also went to Copenhagen for Yes Theory's premiere of Project Iceman, and I was truly inspired. But I have never been in ice cold water. Now, this water is nowhere near that temperature, but still. Wait, I kind of don't even want to look here. I'm actually scared. It was pure excitement, mixed with a slight terror when thinking about the unknown depth below me. <laughs> then Mark chickened out for some reason. You can do it, you can do it! <laughs> no, it's too scary. But I was thrilled to keep jumping. Yeah. Woo! We also made a new friend for me to jump with. Shut up! Hey! He's much cooler than us. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't say that, Huh? You didn't do it. This feels like my body is like hanging. Oh, see, we. I, I realize I've never been in the Atlantic Ocean. Yeah, this is a fjord, and it's very close to like the, the shoreline. Ow! Uh, Now let's welcome a new day where the game plan is to head to Trollstigen, the path of the trolls, a number one tourist destination in Norway. But first we finished up our last bit of resting and non-recording, and then we packed the tent up yet again to drive into the unknown. No, we didn't. First we did handstands. And played music. Oh, and also this. First, I need to get a camera microphone. I probably lost it in that meadow in the blur of all of the drone crash. Ah! 
I mean, Nori's expensive, yes, but perhaps microphones are inexpensive here. Only God knows why it always takes us ages to leave anywhere. Being in the moment, doing I don't know what, and suddenly it's like two o'clock in the day and we're out buying a camera mic before we can get any miles in. Questions. <sighs> okay, now into the unknown. Just kidding, we are humans and we have to eat. Welcome to the cooking show. Today we are doing carrots. Okay, but I'm for real this time, now we are really going. And as usual, we have no clue where we'll find a place to sleep tonight. What I do know is today we're headed towards Trollstigen. We gotta get back to the off-grid life. We had freaking Wi-Fi here, a shower, we had electricity. <laughs> What's that about? That's not what this is supposed to be. We're gonna go on our first ferry now. Hey. Hello. Hello. Not free. As expected. Let's go outside. Let's go outside. Do you want to go outside? I want to go outside, please. Screw this. Yeah, let's get out. I've had a revelation lately, and it's about prioritizing our physical health and happiness first. Prioritizing financially what makes us happy, recognizing what is valuable. Let's put our focus towards what we can control. Ah, oh, it's just so liberating. How much was this? 86 Norwegian. Okay, cool. No, that was not cool. <laughs> it's, it could have been I worse. I won't be able to buy food for my children when I come home. <laughs> and as we reached the other side, nature became even more mind-blowing. Mountains fraud up! Mountains! Oh, it's glorious! Look at that! Ah! Woo! Ah! Water is turquoise! <laughs> Norway, what the heck? It's great to sit and rewatch the ups and the downs of this trip. It was really tough for me at times. I had moments of feeling completely energyless. But today was pure bliss and aliveness. <laughs> oh look, a creature. An old creature. What is this? Oh my god, it's Mark. So much so that I gathered the confidence to fly the drone again after the accident. That was scary. I'm too tense for this drone flying. <sighs> <laughs> but now we finally reached our destination. Congratulations. Well, we stopped by a troll and mountains. Uh, anyway, this is like what houses look like here. They have uh, meadows on the roofs. Okay, we are really uh, where the tourists are at now. <laughs> it's highly trafficated, this little troll, troll place. We're gonna drive across Trollstigen now and then hopefully find a camp spot because I'm getting tired. I don't know what to say. Do you have anything to add? I've been to Trollstigen once before. It's very windy. Mm, this camera is too heavy for my hand. Uh, <laughs> let's go. My arm is, is falling. A, this is a good pick. <sighs> I really need to work on my strength because my arm actually cannot... This is my left arm too, hey, so it's basically I non-existent. This, I need this camera now. This is, the, this is the car we're road tripping in. It has color. It has character. It has me in it. Are you getting nice shots of me with your car? I'm overly tired. 
Yeah, so we really should be leaving because it's getting darker and we need to set up camp before nightfall. But Mark just needs to play his guitar first. But now, Trollstigen, the path of the trolls. I tried to research where it got its name from, but found nothing other than the fact that back in the days, the troll path was a dangerous mountain pass that shepherds took to bring sheep to the mountain top. Anyway, today it's one of the most famous roads in the world. Thank you, Google. Oh, there's a guy running here. We better share for him. Woo! 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 <laughs> To my fellow creators, this song and all the other music and sound effects I use in my videos are from Epidemic Sound. And if you want to try it out, you can click the link in my description for 30 days free. It's not as scary here actually because we have open space. Yeah. <laughs> I can see it. Goodness, this is actually terrifying. Look at that freaking rock. Don't! Careful! <laughs> Come down, please. Babe! I'm just gonna break the kiss. No, no! Get out of here! It turns out it's kind of a bad idea to point a camera towards your way, like towards you. The Trollstigen P. I did it. I just did it. We then drove even higher up towards the top of the mountain and it felt slightly dangerous. I'm getting Albania flashbacks. Two hours in the darkness through the mountains. The, the, the driver was looking at his phone, texting his girlfriend, um, driving like super fast. <laughs> no railings, gravestones everywhere. On top of the mountain was this very unique visitor center and souvenir shop. We should buy this one for the tent. Yes. <laughs> it looked like modern hobbit holes surrounded by crystal clear natural water. Amazing design. Good job, Norway. This is like Scandinavian top notch design. Rough corners, rough edges. Apparently, it was recently hit by an avalanche. What happened? No, there was an avalanche. Oh, oh shit, it must have come from there. That just reminds me of the type of land and nature we're actually in and the power of it. Then ignoring the fact that it was really getting later, colder, hungrier, and we'd have to magically find a camp spot before dark and rain, I ran on the very last bit of energy. Like I could feel the soon incoming collapse. Welcome to the last brain cells having a party. <laughs> Tell me when I'm going into a fence, please. Oh, there's rock balancing happening here. Mm, I can spawn, I can spawn. Mm. 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 This is not good. We need to go find a freaking camp spot. Yep, the desperate search to find a free camping spot began a lot later than it should have. And we unfortunately had quite high expectations. Let's find an epic free camping spot tonight. Yes, we have to. We have it's gonna to. happen. So, attempt number one call a friend of Mark's who happened to live in the area. But no luck there. At this point, my energy levels went down to zero, so we stopped the car so I could cry in Mark's lap. He went out right at the spot to cook dinner for us because I was weak. But sheep came as a blessing from nature and they cheered me up. It was beautiful. <laughs> there were great free camping spots in this very area, but it was too cold up there, so we decided to keep looking in a lower elevation area. 
and we found a beautiful spot there, accompanied by a no camping sign. So in the defeat, we went out and got this shot. What a... <laughs> so tired trying to find a camping spot and there's a camping van here. But I'm also super tired and hungry and hangry almost. Yeah, not almost. It was now so late in the evening. We had been looking around every corner, every path. Everything seemed to be owned farmland. So many no camping signs. I wanted to just give up. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I looked for free camping spots for 100 years now. And the clock is, of course, like half past nine in the evening, and we're super hungry. And uh, it's so hard to find a spot to camp on here in Norway. So we're gonna do this one where we have to walk from the car to put up the tent. Whatever, whatever. But it's actually, there is a super beautiful spot, like by the waterfall. Like seven minute walk from the car, and it's already nine thirty, and we have to, and I'm dying. What, what the hell? Okay, we'll see. Um, we're just gonna carry things now, and let's go. Let's go. Let's do this, baby. Do this, baby. And that you'll see in the next episode. So if you like this video and if you want to see the next one, click the subscribe button. Thank you. Adventure out and live your dream today. <laughs>